Shabbat shalom, everybody, and you are welcome to the uh, Shabbat of this morning. The parasha that we are going to discuss about this morning is a very, very important one. It's a very, very interesting one. I cannot even uh, over over emphasize it. You see, it is a very, very important parasha, very interesting one. And in this parasha, we can see the down sparrow of the children of Israel. The, uh, the other, the other uh, three, four, four weeks we talk, we talk about the, 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 the highest pinnacle that the children of, of Israel reached, right? When God gave them the ten words, right? When God lifted them up upon his mighty wings. And now they are going down, 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 down into big, big trouble. And the trouble is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So the parasha of this morning is called Parasha uh, Shle, uh, Shle, uh, Shla Leha. That is the parasha of this money, which means to send, to send. So, and I subtitle it, uh, the subtitle that I, I subtitle the, uh, the message of the parasha of this money is Be careful of what you wish for. Be careful of what you wish for, because you might get it. The children of Israel, they wish for something and they get it. They got what they wish. And that is what the, what it comes out of their mouth, what they speak, that the Lord is not able to bring us into the land. And God said, ah, okay, you doubted me. You doubted my power. You doubted my strength. You will die in the wilderness. None of you will enter into that land. Only your children. Your children that you think in your head. Your children that you said that they are going to be slaves to the Nephilim. That you said they are going to be slaves to the Canaanite. They are the one that will inherit and enjoy the land. Because you are people of stiff neck. You never believe. I divided the sea for you. Don't you see that? I, you, you, don't you see all the wonders that I performed because of you? In what? In Israel? Ten wonders. I smoothed all the firstborn of Egypt. Don't you see that? Are you, are you blind? I, I, I descended upon the mountain. And I speak to each and every one of, one of you. You can hear me. Are you deaf? I, you ask for meat, I give you meat. You ask for water, I give you water. You ask for bread, I give you manna. What else do you want? What do you want? Spiritual uh, 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 necessity, I give you unto you. Physical necessity, I give you unto you. Your clothes never torn. Your shoe never go wear. Everything is, I make everything perfect for you. What do you want? Remember, when someone is enslaved for over 200 years, it's hard. The slavery has entered into their bones. So we're going to see what uh, they wish for and what they got. And God said to Moshe, send forth men, if you please, to go and spy the land of Canaan, which I give to the children of Israel. Numbers chapter 13, verse 1 and 2. And Moses select twelve men, one from each tribe, to spy out the land, the promised land, while the rest of the people are camped in the, in, in, in the desert of Paran on the, in, on the Sinai uh, Peninsula. Forty days later, the spies returned, bearing samples of the fruit of the land, grapes, figs, pomegranates, and totality about the land itself but hopelessly pessimistic about any real chance to conquer the land. These men were very pessimistic. Oh, the land is good. The land is beautiful. The land is wonderful. But they forgot the, the Lord, their God, that defended them. They forgot that they are doubting the God of Moshe. They say, oh, maybe this God of Moshe is a weak God. He cannot do nothing. He cannot perform nothing. His power has died or his power has ended. Because the people that we saw, the Torah speak, that the children of the Nephilim were there. But how come the children of the Nephilim were there? Because we heard that they were all destroyed by the world, by the um, by the waters. No, that they were all of them were destroyed, but how come they're, they're still being found? That shows us technically. That not, all, not, not all of them died. Some of them were kept by the children of the giants. You see, and to us, 
We are, I mean, to them, we are like what? We are like grasshopper, like an ant. And so we are in their eyes. That we, if they, if they, they will just march us as, you know, as, as we march, the ants. We cannot do what? We cannot defeat them. That is, even though before the war, they've been defeated. Because mentally, they're defeated. Before a war, before a general, a king, in those days, not this one that we're talking about, not the president or the premier that, we're, that we have now. In those days, when, they are, when a soldier or the king is going to go to the battle, what do they say? Of course, everybody is afraid. Because battle is what? Battle is death. People will die. That is, there is no doubt about that. Blood will be shed. But they have this uh, 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 psychological encouragement that the king himself, he said, I'm the one that is leading the battle, right? Because if he's the king, if there is his kingdom, he has to lead the battle and everybody will do what? We follow him. He said, Here, all my people, for example, I'm, I'm saying, I'm leading you into the battle. We have got to face our enemies. We have to fight and fight and fight and conquer. We have no choice than to conquer. If you don't conquer, remember, this is land is the land of your fathers. He begins to remind the soldiers. If you lose, your wives will be raped. If you lose, your children will be slaughtered like chicken. If you lose, your, the land of your ancestor will be taken away from you forever. Your children will be slaves to the enemy. So, and when the soldiers hear this, their anger grows up. It builds them. It says, no, no, I cannot lose because I need to defend my family. Everybody wants to defend their family. Every one, one, one wants to defend their wife and their children. No one wants to give the land of their ancestor to the enemy, right? You see, you build up the army or, or the soldiers psychologically. But in this case, they have already defeated themselves because they say we cannot win them. Because if we go to them, they kill us. You see, they've been defeated before the battle has even started. And God is saying, you cannot do that. No, you can do that. Because I am God, yes. I can go before you and destroy all the enemies. No, I can destroy all the giants in a, in a second. But what would that do to you? Would that help you? No, that does not help you. Because you have to put an effort. Your own effort. God, he said, we should do all our best. And the rest, leave it unto God. God will do his own part. But we have to do our own part. Like some people that in, in some religion, they will come and tell us, or they come and tell you all kinds of stories. But we, they, they forgot that there is a rule. There is a physical rule. There is a physical law that God has created. And this law cannot be destroyed. Except if God himself says, okay, now I want to bypass that law. It is God alone that can do that. Not us. But we have still have to follow the physical law. The rules and the regulations that God has set when he created the universe. We need to follow that. But if that law, if we cannot overpass it, then God in his power cannot bend that law for us to escape. You see? The children of Israel were what between uh, uh, the Pharaoh army and the water. But you cannot cross the water because there is no bridge. Right? So what did God do? And you cannot just say, I want to swim over the or swim to the other side. You, you won't survive because the current of the of, of the sea is a lot. And you have children, you have cow, you have animals, you have a lot of old people. Ah, they want to cross. Then God says, okay, I'm going to bend the rules. God divided it. Say, okay, you want to stay here. Wait, you stay here, what? Because my people have to pass. So this is what I'm saying. When we cannot overcome that law, God will bend it for us to escape. But you, we have to do our best because God will not pull them from Egypt and say, okay, uh, it's, it's like, uh, 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 as I said, you can bring a, an ox, you know, an ox, an ox, you can bring an ox into the water. But you cannot force the ox to drink water. No. The ox should be willing to drink the water. That's what I'm saying. Here, God, God cannot force the children of Israel into the into what into the river. They have to decide. Am, am I going to stay here for the Egyptian to smite me, or I will pass? You have, to, you have to decide. So this is the same thing here. The children of Israel have to be willing to fight. Then before they go, God will deal with the enemy. But they have already defeated themselves in their own mind. Okay. 
Surely the land which you sent us to uh, 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 which you sent us is flowing with milk and honey, they replied, and the land is very fertile, nice, wonderful land. But the inhabitants are fierce. The cities are great fortress. And we have seen the giant, the living in, we have seen them there. They are deep. Oh, they are not right there. They are not going anywhere. They are so big, so huge that we can't even stand them. We cannot fight against them, they say. They are stronger than we are. Compared to them, we are like grasshoppers, and so we wear in their eyes. Numbers chapter 13, verse 27 to 33. They reported to Moshe and the people. Now, this is where the drama started. Men of renown, the Torah said, wise men, men of power, generous leaders, right, coming to set to, 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 to report Lashanara about the land. They come to, to do what to, to, to speak negative of the land that God has given. They say, no, 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 it's good, it's fine, right? But we cannot conquer it. For God has given it unto you. Why are you not saying that you cannot conquer it? And the question now is, did the spy, did they reply, what they, did they say, what they saw? It's a question. Yes, they said what they saw. What they saw is exactly what they said. That was, there is a book there. The way they communicate this word was evil. That's where the problem is. They didn't lie. They never lied. They didn't lie from what they said. They said exactly what they saw. But in the, the, the beings by which they pass that message across become evil. Because, okay, you, you, can say, you can say the same thing like this. Yes, Moshe Rabbeinu, we were at the land, right? We, did, we came there, we saw the land. The land is beautiful, it's great. It's what, you can see the sample of the fruit that we brought. It's a wonderful land, right? And we saw the giant. We saw the, 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 the descendant, the, we saw the, the definim down there. They were there, all of them, they, they were still alive. We see them, but... The God that delivered us from the hand of the Egyptians. The God that divided the Red Sea for us. The God that gave us manna. The God that gave us the ten world. The God that uh, gave us meat and, 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 and water. The same God is able to defend, to defend us and give us the, the land. Simple. But they came frightening in their pants. Ah, no, 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 no. It's not possible. No, no, no. And if you, as a general, First start, you are afraid. What do you want me to do, a soldier? I run! That is it. Because if a general cannot lead the world, who is going to lead the world? Me? No, 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 no. I can't do that. Because I'm just a sergeant. I'm just a corporal. I'm just a, a, a lieutenant. Right? Or I'm just a second lieutenant. Or a captain. A general. Pack the sword. I run away. What do you want me to, to do? Of course, I run too. And this made the people to panic. And the people begins to talk. It begins to rise up against Moshe and Aaron. Oh, your God is a weak God. Is that no land in Egypt for us to die? Why do you want to why do you bring us into the wilderness to kill us and destroy us and bury our children in the wilderness? This is a wicked man. You are... He begins to talk negative of the servant of God. And the anger of God flare against them, the Torah speaks. Because of their unbelief. It is better for us to die in the wilderness. That they say. Be careful of what you wish for. They pronounce their own sentence with their own mouth. It is better for us to die in the wilderness. That's what they say. And they die in the wilderness. Be careful of what you speak. For you might get it. Pharaoh said. Tomorrow, by tomorrow. All the sons of Israel shall die. All of them will keep the all of them must die. That what Pharaoh said. Pharaoh pronounced the death sentence of his own people with his own mouth. Mm -hmm. And the Torah said, and God reversed the statement of Pharaoh. All the children of Egypt died, and the children of Israel survived. He pronounced his own sentence with his own mouth. Mm -hmm. It's not Moshe that pronounced it. Moshe, when, he, when Pharaoh said so, Moshe said, So shall it be. Unto him. 
not to the children of Israel. And God said, by tomorrow, by this time, you shall see. Say, let them pick up what? Make their, uh, take a, a, a lamb or a goat, prepare it for Pesach. For I will pass through the lamb, and I will perform what Pharaoh just said. But not against the children of, of Israel, but against him. For he pronounced this with his own mouth. That is it, that what Zohar said. He's pronounced his own sentence with his own mouth. Be careful of what you wish for, because you might get it. They said they want to die in the wilderness. Mm. And they die in the wilderness. That is a choice. Because they have to understand what they, 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 they see. It's, it's like people that see white and they call it black. People that see black and they call it white. Because they don't want to even understand. They put God in the world in a box. They, 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 they thought that the, that, that the God Almighty, the God of their father, is like the God or, or, or the gods of Egypt that cannot perform. That, like these statues that see, or that, that has eyes but that cannot see, that have mouth that cannot speak, that have hands that cannot move. Our God is not like that. Our God is the God of the ends of the multiverse, the God that creates all things, both spiritually and physically. So we need to understand this principle that mouth is power. What comes out of your mouth is energy. And you always pronounce what is good, what is positive. So that you might have what is positive. And, this, uh, and then the story proceeds to describe the despair of the Israelites. They complain against Moshe and Aaron saying, why did, uh, why did we not die in Egypt or in the desert? Why did, you, uh, why did God bring us into the land of Canaan to die by the sword? And our women and children to become helpless, a slaves. Let us select a leader that will lead us back into Egypt, they said. We are going to come later on by the grace of God, we are going to connect this message with Korah. Because uh, 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 the, uh, the uh, Tamud told us that all this thing was orchestrated by who? By Korah. Korah has already bribed all those generals. Just like the one that we see today in our 21st century. He has bribed them. He said, when you come, come and speak lies. Come and speak evil. Come and speak Lashara against the land. So that I might take you back to Egypt. So that I can go, you know, I, can, I, I have money. I, I do, uh, he said to them all, right? What we see. Something, a war is going on. And people, generous in the West, they understand and they know that they cannot win. But, you know, let us continue to promote it, you know. Let's promote death. Let's promote destruction of a country, of a people. Let's promote the death of innocent, of women, of children. Because when you kill all the men, where, where are the women? When you destroy a country, where, where are, the, are, are the inhabitants, where are they going to live? But we don't understand it or we, we, we understood it, but we are just doing what we, we, we know best, that is to commit crime, to commit evil, to shed blood. Why that? When you know that you cannot win, why are you committing evil even more? So this is because most of the generals have been bribed. They tell them this is what they are going to say. Say it, let the people, don't tell the people what they want to hear, not the, the truth. Say what they want to hear and, they, and all of them will say hallelujah and you know, and they are happy. And so it happens. A seemingly simple story proving that one must trust in God, in God's purpose as revealed by his prophet Moshe, who speaks in the name of God. But put yourself in the sandals of these people. They have gone through slavery in Egypt, suffering and oppressed, but also fed and housed. Now, as they listen to the spice report, can they react di differently? Trust in Moshe, who says he speaks in the names of God. It's a, it, that is another side of the story. Another side of, of the story is that these are men, as I said, these are people that have lived all their life in slavery. You know, they, they don't know anything than only the will of the master. The master says, sit, they sit. The master says, stand up, they stand up. The master gives them some house, you know, some petty house to live, you know, give them some food. 
just to keep them, you know, so that they can work more, right? What do they know? But I understand, and and, and, and don't get me wrong. We are still doing the same thing. What what they did? There is nothing different between us and them. Most of us, we see the miracle of God. Now, in two seconds, we're going to look what's ne negative. Some people they say, "Oh God, ah, okay. they, say they have many. For example, they have a problem." Right? They pray, 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 say, God, please heal me. God, please uh, help me to, do, to, to solve this problem. God, please provide your, your miracle. And as soon as that problem is gone, they forget God. God, to them, is like a spare tire. You know a spare tire? Oh, when the, when the original, when the real tire is, uh, God busted, you can take a spare tire and pull it. You know? Many people, God is like that. So to many people, a spare tire, a thing that you can use for a moment. You know, that is for to, to many people, that is God. And God said, I am not like that. I am your father. I want to have a relationship with you. I want to communicate with you every time. Don't just use me for one second and throw me away. Why that? What kind of relationship is that? You know, remember how your relationship with your own earthly father. Can, can, the, can, the, uh, can the child come? To the father or, or to the mother and say, Mama, help me, help me, help me. I, I'm broke. Mama, help me, help me. I need some money. Mama, help me, help me. Help me. I need some, uh, some connection. And when your mama or your papa help you, you forget about your mama and your papa. I mean, your mama and your papa is what type of a son or what type of a, of a daughter I see is this? Or what kind of a, of a child is this? Every time I help, he forget about me or she forget about me. And the same thing here. It's, it's not, it's so different. Because we only use God, we only ask God whenever we are in trouble. We only pray to God whenever we are, we, we are in pain. You know? But when, when everything is fine, everything is wonderful, everything is great, nobody remember God. God is, is very far away, somewhere in another planet. But God wants us to be His child. To communicate with Him every time, just like Adam, you know, in the beginning. God will come down in the evening. Every blessed day in the evening, God will come to Adam. How was it? What do you do today? Everything fine? Is the garden okay? What is what, what what did you do today? You know, such a, a, a connection, such a, a communication, such a relationship. That is what God wants. God doesn't want a religion. There is no way I've seen that a, a, a religion will save you. No, but communication, relationship with God, that is what saves a man, not a religion. And we are here not to, to follow a religion, but to have a relationship with our Creator who is in heaven. Leave the familiar <clears throat> to face reportedly insurmountable obstacles. Wanting to return to Egypt must have seen, uh, seen the, 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 the rational and responsible things to do. Or was it? Following the Torah narrative, we know that after 40 years, after the generation of the slavery had died, the Israelites did indeed conquer and settle in the land of Canaan. In other words, how can we make rational decisions in, 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 in irrational time, in time of, of upheaval and radical changes? That is the question. When, that, when you are faced with an unsurmountable mountain, when I am faced with an insurmountable mountain, how do I react? What do I do? Do I say, you know what? I forget about God. You know what? This God, you know, it cannot help me. But this is God that kept you alive all this while. You think that the air that you breathe is yours? You think that the life that, that you have is yours? You think that uh, 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 the, the, the eyes that you have, the vision, all the, all, all the good health is yours? It's given to you by God. So if God can give you all these things, the sun, the light, if God can give you all these things, do, do you think that God cannot remove that insurmountable mountain? Of course he can. It is your you to believe. Believe, that is it. How many times, I'll give us some... Uh, 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 some some, some a little story. How many times is Israel is faced with an insurmountable mountain? The, the, the enemy soldiers is ten times number of that of Israel, and the Israel still win. 
How many times? Don't, don't, let me, don't let me talk about Israel. Let's talk about England. How many times England and France fight in the war? And the French people are ten times number that of England. And England will win. It's about smartness. It's about, it's about understanding. Look at the, the, uh, the one they call the, the, the war of Abraham, you know, in, in Quebec, in Quebec City. The British were few. The French numbers, the French outnumbered the British a lot with their guns and everything. But the English, the, the English people, they still win. They won against the French. Because of the planning of the war, the, when you have a smart general, you can always win. It's not about the numbers. Look at in the time of Gideon. Right? God said, okay, all the people should, should gather. No? They all gather. God said, okay, uh, whosoever is afraid, go home. Do you build a house? You build your house, go home. Do you just marry a new wife? Go home. Do you uh, have a vineyard and you have not eaten on it? Go home. Ah, everybody in the field put him in. And Gideon himself is like, he's already afraid. Uh, what, what is going on here? God said, that's not enough. Take them all to the waters. Let them, the one that drink like this and the one that drink like this, the one that, take them. The other one, go home. Right? And only few, only few of them remain, like hundreds. And Gideon said, oh, what is going on? Only few. God said, yes, these are the men that I need. I'm going to fight against huge army. Don't worry. Take them. And they went. And the Torah said, before they would get to the land, God panic. God sent panic upon the enemy. And this is they just came and slaughtered them up. Simple. When we have faith in God, there's nothing God cannot do. It's not about the number. Forget about the numbers. It's you. Do you have faith in Him? It, 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 it is a mind game. Understand that. I always tell us every time, what do you believe? If you believe, all things shall be good. That is not in heart, it's just faith and work. And it's Torah. Once you say, I can do it by the power of God, you will succeed. Moshe, the same thing that Moshe Rabbeinu, our teacher, was trying to teach us. Don't worry, everything is possible by God. Only faith. Be careful of what you wish for. These people, they wish to die in the, in the wilderness and they face the consequence of their actions. For their children was given the land to inherit. Everything is in the hand of heaven, except the fear of heaven. Remember, as we always say, I said, he said, everything, everything is in the hand of heaven. Everything is in the hand of God. That's what it means. Except the fear of God. The fear of God to decide individually. God has given us as a choice. God will not force you to fear Him. No. You decide. It's a choice. If you don't want to fear Him, you face the consequence. If you fear Him, you get the blessing. You see? If you follow the Torah, you get the blessing. If you don't follow the Torah, you face the consequence. But everything is in hand. God can do anything except the fear of God. He will never force you to fear Him. It is a, it's our choice. Parasha, Shlach, to say. Be careful of what you wish for, because you might get it. Shabbat shalom.